Hey everybody, welcome back to Henry Disc Golf. Today we are out at Fairfield Gold with Jesse. I'm doing the putter challenge. He is of course throwing his whole bag. Let's have some fun today. All right, guys, here we are on hole number one. Hole number one is a 305 foot par three. I'm gonna go with the pace. I only have three three molds in my bag. Technically the Telos and the, and the pace are the same. So I have the uh, pace, the AVR and the Sensei. And then of course putting with the uh, Telos, which is the same mold as the pace. We're just gonna try to throw it past the white basket like we've been doing. Try to see if we can put, give ourselves a putt and or an upshot. I turned that one. I yanked it like I did the, the other one. Couldn't remember the name of the disc. Throwing a TL. I'm gonna put it on a little bit of hyzer and just let it fade into the, towards the basket. Looking up, it's gonna be out by the path. There you go, good throw. All right, guys, here are the results of my drive. Uh, probably still left with about 80 to 90 feet here. We're gonna go with the blue AVR. Let's put it on a nice, slight toss. Let's try to put it under the basket. Here are the results of my drive. Left with pretty long putt, possibly outside the circle. Tap them both in. Tap them in. Tap them in. All right, guys, welcome to hole number two. Hole number two is 387 feet, par three. Straight ahead, I'm just slightly up the hill, going with the pace. Gonna try to put it past the white basket by a little bit and then have an upshot at the basket. <clears throat> Not quite to the white basket, a little short. I'm gonna be throwing a destroyer, a Ricky destroyer. This is where Jesse should have a big advantage. All right, guys, here are the results of my drive. Uh, left here probably with about 100 to 120 feet into the basket. We're going to go with the blue AVR. Let's put it a little wide and just have it hyzer back in towards the basket. Great up. Alright guys, welcome to hole number three. Hole number three is a 646 foot R4. Um, basically here, I'm just trying to throw into the open if I can. There's a pretty stiff headwind here, so probably not going to get as far as I'd like to get on this hole, but we're not going to try to make any excuses. We're just going to throw it and try to do good. be throwing my silo destroyer. A nice solid rip out into the open. Little nose up. Nice ring off. Gonna be in the small grass on the left side.
Hi guys, here are the results of my second shot. I'm going to go ahead and try to see if we can get this by the basket, but we're probably going to come up. Welcome to hole two. We got 781. Four. 84. 81, but four. Hole four. You said welcome to hole two. I said hole two? Yes. Take two. Hey guys, welcome to hole four. We got 781 feet to the basket. Way out there around the cove. Nice hyzer shot. I'm trying to get myself out there in the middle. At the bottom of the hill, the corner. We'll hopefully have a look at, a, at the basket in the first shot. Uh, it's a little tighter to the corner than what I want. That should be fine. Here's the result of my drive. I'm going to try to get out and around the corner. Try to get myself to the basket with my second shot here. Okay, so my Be good throw. At the basket for my second throw. This is also a par four. That's gonna be a little shorter than what I've been doing. Yeah, it's a little bit shorter than what I have been on the last couple times being out here. But we're still gonna try to do the same thing. Just throw this up by the basket. Try to see if we can get a look at her. Oh, come on, Hi, sir.
throwing it right by me. Good run. Tap me in as well. Tap in, Jerry. Which is also a bogey. Welcome to hole six, guys. We got 450 to the basket, and it does a big old funky S. Now let me throw in my TL. Kaiser. Alright guys, going with the pace, just going to put this on some hyzer, uh, just try to get down by the white basket. Oh, that's a good amount of hyzer, sit down. That should be good. Pass to the white basket, to the landing zone because I missed it, so not shot to the basket. Bro, no. Hey. I'm it over to get it down by the basket in the woods. Oh, a little too wide and drop it down. That's sad. Nice shot. I'm looking at chopping some four up here. Just starting to get it right under the basket. Just kind of those hyzer gaps up there. Go, go. Not bad by the tree. Alright guys, here we are on hole number 7. Hole number 7 is a 546 foot par 4. Gonna go with the pace, just trying to clear the water and be in an open spot over there. Get through. Oh no, that rolled back in. Follow it right here. And make a shot down towards the basket here. Oh, that came out nice. Put the basket on my third shot here. A little tight. Oh, no 
bueno. <laughs> Alright guys, here we are on hole number 8. Hole number 8 is a 200 foot par 3. Basically just a little up the hill here. Gonna go with the pace. Going to try to throw this on a hyzer line up to the basket. I'd like to take a birdie here. I got it too wide. Throwing my AVR3 here. Oh, too early. Take it through that way. Five footer up the hill. I'm going to take the blue AVR, put it on the hyzer line, try to see if we can just get it right by the back. Should be a putt. Alright right, guys, welcome to hole number nine. It is a 262 foot par three. Basically straight ahead, slightly up the hill. You just want to throw something straight and then get it to hyzer off at the end of its flight. That works out great. Throwing an NB. That's a height. That is beautiful. That is parked. I make 12 footers. Alright guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the front half with me and Jesse. A quick score update is Jesse's plus six, I am plus two going into the back half. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Make it good for somebody else. We'll see you next time. Peace.